and the applause at the end. Oh, Toronto audiences, uh, some audiences show an incredible reaction during. Some of them are more tame, and we don't know till we've done three and a half hours on stage that they're crazy for us. I encourage them to laugh a little more earlier because, it's, as I say, some real, some, like last night's audience was amazing. But I, I think it's how much they're maybe on board with Harry Potter to begin with. Um, and sometimes Torontonians are just a, they're just a bit quieter. They're less, um, and, and that theater, they feel a little further away than in some theaters. Um, and you contrast the, the Broadway audience. And oh, Broadway audiences are wacky crazy. Meaning what? They, they applaud for entrances. I mean, they're nuts. They're, they're, just, they're just like, hey, we're here watching. Just in case you forget about us, we're here. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Almost to the point of, really? You know, <laughs> so Toronto. Um, but there's a point where you go, <laughs> anybody out there? So I, I have to get rid of the Broadway audience in my mind, because Broadway is a whole thing to itself. I mean, the lineup of fans outside. Do you remember when we did Arcadia, and we did a version of it here mm. at Cannes Stage, mm. and there was laughter, mm. and you were very good. I wasn't very good in it. Yes, you were. But we, no, I wasn't. Just saying. And then we went to Winnipeg. Oh, yeah. And there was no, almost no laugh. Oh, gosh. In no. fact, I'll tell you, when we did Six Degrees of Separation, people were lined up outside. And then we did Six Degrees of Separation in Winnipeg. And there weren't, I mean, the audiences were full and polite. But, and I said, what's happened? And somebody said, well, there aren't Six Degrees of Separation in Winnipeg. There are two. Everybody knows everybody. So the idea of there being Six Degrees of Separation, the premise of the play, is lost on Winnipeg. I mean, that's not condescending to Winnipeg, that's just the truth.